I feel like I'm gonna have to put these sunglasses on because I'm so excited to be in LA. I really wanted to start this vlog, but I have not slept for 24 hours. So your girl's feeling a little bit delirious. She's also looking not her best. Although we're all friends here, so let's ditch the glasses. But we're in LA, guys. I feel like I'm traveling so much this year. And I love that for me. So we're in LA with White Fox and we're going to Coachella this weekend. But we also have a couple of days in LA just to do our own thing. So best believe this is going to be half solo trip, half work trip. I'm so delirious, bro. Let me show you the room. That's why I wanted to start this video now because if I start it tomorrow, I will have already messed the room up and I wanted to show it you fresh, how I saw it with my eyes. This is the little snack station and these are the best cookies in the world. I will be having some of those, but we also have some snacks that White Fox left on the bed as well, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, this is the room. Um... Got a gorgeous view of LA. And I love how it's all like woods, it's giving nature. There's even, of course, there's a hotel robe. I just love a hotel robe. I can't wait to put this on later. But there's also like a yoga mat in here and the spa area. I think I've shown it in a previous vlog, but it's incredible. Um, and then this is the bathroom. I love coming away with White Fox. They're always so generous and they're always so attentive and they just plan the best trips. Like the last time I was in LA, I told you I cured my LA trauma because I hated LA before the last trip and the last trip made me fall in love with it again. So we've got a full itinerary. We're here for quite a while actually. We're here from Tuesday to, well, we're here a week. I was only here a few days last time so I'm actually excited to have a full week in LA. And to be fair, after that flight, that flight was probably one of the worst I've ever done. And getting through customs was two hours, just to add insult to injury. So yeah, I'm tired as fuck. And then this bag is filled with my favorite thing in the world, food and snacks. So I've got some popcorn, more of the best cookies in the world. I'm gonna have to show you them now don't look like much but these literally melt in your mouth they're the best cookies ever also got some cheetos which again have chips into i've always wanted to try these the cheddar goldfish although i don't really like cheese flavored things so i don't know how i'll feel about them some jolly ranchers and these look really interesting some hershey's dipped pretzels and then we've also got a water bottle and then we've also got some tan which i didn't put any tan on before the trip so i'm actually really grateful for this because i think i might put a little bit on tonight but yeah i just wanted to introduce this vlog hi guys we're in la with white box i'm so excited for this vlog but I need to be silent. I need to go and get something to eat. I'm gonna try and be on LA time. It's currently, I think it's about six o'clock, half six. So I'm gonna try and stay awake till at least 11. And then it's a new day tomorrow and we can properly vlog LA. Good morning, guys. I had the most delicious sleep. I've not been that deep in sleep for a long time. I think it's this bed. The beds at the one hotel are crazy comfy. And I also didn't sleep for 24 hours. That probably did it. I did wake up at 4.30, obviously with the jet lag. And I don't know why, but I had this sudden urge to fake tan because I didn't do it last night. I literally ordered Chick-fil-A, watched Sex in the City all night and passed out. Like that was my night. But I woke up at 4.30, I went to the toilet and then I saw my fake tan on the side and I was like, just do it, just put it on. So I put my fake tan on, went back to sleep and then woke up at 7.30. So I feel very well rested now. I've just actually put on this little aloe play suit because I'm going to go for a little walk and find coffee. Can't start my day without one or a matcha. I'm also going to try and show you a bit of the hotel because this hotel is amazing. So this is the restaurant where you can have breakfast. There's also like a little bar area. I mean, it's pretty dead now, but this at night time is so busy and loud. And it's such a good vibe. They've got a really good gym just through there, but... I won't be participating in that today. Um, they also do like yoga and Pilates on the roof and stuff, which is really cool. 
And they've got this little seating area. There's a cafe where you can get like all protein smoothies, coffee. In fact, I could probably get a coffee here. I might actually come and sunbathe today because the sun is actually so hot. LA is actually much hotter than I thought it would be, but this is the view. Crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna put my camera away. I'm not gonna film my walk. I'm just gonna go and leisurely walk and then we can get ready for the day. Okay, I'm back from my walk. I've just showered and got ready for the day. I filmed a TikTok get ready with me because we're on it with the content on this trip. I feel like I wanna get so much content for you guys. Now I need to think about what I wanna wear because the weather is glorious. I don't know what I was expecting weather-wise, but it's so sunny and so hot. Like it's it's hot the outfits that i brought aren't really given i was expecting it to be this warm but it's fine first place i'm going to go to today is the white fox gifting suite so i'm going to get ready for that and then go and choose some pieces for coachella i think rachel wants me to get her a jacket as well <gasps> because rachel's coming i don't know whether i mentioned but i literally can't wait for her to come i think she's coming tomorrow but yeah i'm going to quickly put an outfit on and then the first stop of the day is the gifting suite just been watching friends i always love watching american tv when i'm here because the adverts are actually so funny like how are they advertising bbls anyway this is my outfit for the day i've just gone very simple so my jeans and my cardigan are white fox I've got my um, Givenchy sliders on that I shown in my last vlog. Still trying to wear them in. They're definitely more comfortable now, but I've also brought blister plasters just in case. Um, I've got my Miu Miu bag on, Chrome Hearts top, Chanel sunnies. Um, so I just need to pack my camera. In fact, let me take this out. I need to pack my camera, maybe my AirPods. I had a change of heart with the glasses. I feel like these ones look... Kind of cute with the card again, but I'm just on my way to the gifting suite. Look at what's on the floor in my Uber. How cute are they? I know I need a couple of dresses because I think we're going to go for dinner tonight on one other night. And I've not really brought anything dressy, so definitely need some dresses. And then, yeah, I need some food as well. I don't know where to go. There's so many places that I kind of feel overwhelmed. I'm here. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm scared. I thought it was going to be really quiet and suddenly there's a lot of girls here. Views up here. Wow. I want to know who lives here because imagine waking up and that's your view. I've seen some of the girls now that are on the trip as well so I don't feel as alone. Um, I've just seen Anna and Saffron, Chloe's here, Whitney's here and these are the girls that were on the last trip so that's really nice but yeah. I'm going to eat some sushi and then we're going to go choose some outfits. Having sushi for breakfast is definitely questionable, but it is what it is. Mm. I don't know whether it's too early for a drink, it's like half 11. Okay, but before I drink, I need to concentrate on getting a Coachella outfit because I don't have one yet. And if I get drunk or if I drink, that's going to go out the window. I'm going to put something awful together. I love all this crochet stuff, it's so cute. I think I might have to grab one of these. I'm having a blast. This is like shopping, but everything's free. Also, finally have. So now I can get some accessories. I just had to come back to charge my phone because I was on 5%. Apparently I didn't charge it last night. But I just filmed a whole section in Supreme. I called up at the Supreme store on the way back and I also went to Kith. And I'm still getting used to this camera because it was all in slow motion. I have no idea how I've done that. I was going to show you now what I got from Supreme but I'm just going to show you everything that I get at the end. Um, but I've been charging my phone for a bit. I've also had to put the hair up because it's so warm. And now I'm going to go to my favourite store ever in the world. It's called The Real Real. And they have all like vintage bags, shoes, clothes. And then we're basically on Melrose. So I'm just going to stay in that area and go for lunch. Do a bit more shopping. And then I need to come back because we're going out for dinner with the girls tonight. Just got to The Real Real. And that is the biggest store I've ever seen. Well, the biggest The Real Real store. Even though this store is probably triple the size of the new york one funnily enough i actually prefer the new york one i think because i've come to realize that my style is very new york so a lot of the pieces here will be from people from la and the new york one will be from new york people if that makes sense so i definitely prefer the new york one and i'm not gonna lie this one's kind of overpriced guys i really want this bag i'm so tempted look how cute i want a really nice going out bag that's cream 
because the only one that I have is the Mew Mew one but it's more of a daytime bag and I just think this is the most gorgeous little Chanel-y. Oh my god, this one is also so cute. 2008. Um, 2008? Yeah, which is, you know, we call vintage, you know. Oh, um, so cute. So I want to say that's when... Uh, wow, this um, is incredible. I know she's really beautiful. Like, I don't think I've ever owned anything from... Is it Gloss, Glossier? Gloss, Glossier? I'm not sure, but the building itself is making me want to go inside, so I'm going to have a nosy. I don't actually know where the entrance is. No purchases were made in the real real, which was surprising. I almost bought a card holder and then someone else picked it up and now I have buyer's regret. This feels insane. This is their future due and it's apparently the shortcut to how your skin looks after a full skincare routine. So I'm always down for a shortcut. I think I'm gonna grab one of these. Made a little purchase and now I think I'm gonna go to Cult Gaia. <gasps> There's a Joe and the Juice there. I do kind of want a matcha, but I don't really want to go to Joe and the Juice for one. I want to try something that I can't get at home. I think Community Goods is actually around here, which is apparently Justin and Haley's favorite coffee shop in LA. I don't know why I know that. I think TikTok told me. Something about LA that I've noticed is everything is so random. There'll be a Louis Vuitton store next to a dry cleaners, next to a restaurant. Like there's no, apart from like Rodeo Drive and maybe Melrose, everything's just really scattered around. I can tell why Uber's popular here because everything's just so spread out. Just ordered a burrito from Air One, but I'm currently in 7-Eleven getting some snacks. I know I've already got snacks, but I really love trying new American snacks. I don't think I've ever actually been in a 7-Eleven, but you can make your own like cappuccinos, coffees, um, there's hot dogs there randomly. But yeah, they've got a lot of fun snacks that I'm gonna get. So far, I'm on the spicy jalapeno. I've just ordered some lunch from Air One. I was gonna eat this by the pool, but I kind of just wanna attack it. So I'm gonna eat this in my room, um, and then I think I'm gonna go for a nap. Oh my God, guys, I overslept. <laughs> And now I'm running so late. We've just arrived at the restaurant and it is literally like Influencer Central. But it's so gorgeous in here. before and was like, I've made a special fish for you. I didn't want to say I don't have fish, so I was like, great. great. <laughs> With oysters, you have to season them, otherwise they are actually gross. So, lemon and hot sauce. and guac will also never fail. I don't know whether you can see me or hear me. It's really loud here and it's so bright, but I'm sunbathing. It's literally so hot today that I was like, I may as well go and catch a tan before Coachella. So I've brought my laptop. I'm gonna do a little bit of work here. I was gonna go shopping and then I was like, how much shopping do you actually wanna do? Like, just relax. So I just thought I'm gonna take my time this morning i'm gonna sunbathe i'm gonna do some editing and i'm just gonna chill here because this is such a gorgeous like sunbathing spot also this is probably tmi but i've got really bad belly this morning <laughs> which is why i haven't eaten yet because i need to just flush my system out you know sorry guy over there looking at me like uh, i did not need to know that yeah just chilling here this morning and just look at the views so gorge. I've just ordered room service. I can't remember the last time I ordered a hotel breakfast. I ordered some pancakes. I've not actually seen them yet. Oh my God, they're huge. Um, I ordered some buttermilk pancakes and I've got some syrup here as well. And then I've also ordered this like coconut granola yogurt bowl. I was just really in a sweet mood today. Obviously got to add the syrup. 
I feel like this right now is literally gonna cure me. First bite. Mmm. Who's this? These look like normal pancakes, but they've got like a lemony ricotta -y taste to them. And then I've also got this little, I think it's like coconut yogurt or something, but I don't know why I was craving this as well. I think I just wanted some crunch from the granola. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sit and eat this and then I also need to pack up. I don't actually know what I'm going to vlog today because I think the majority of the day will be traveling down to Palm Springs. Hello guys, we're on our way to Palm Springs now. I've just met my spirit animal. This is May. Hi. Hello. We're having a self-love chat on the coach. And I love May. Please, can you talk me through your week? Okay, so we're starting off strong with self-love Monday, which is basically, we're just gonna focus on self-love for the week and really think about if you say something negative towards yourself, replace it with three positive things about yourself that you love about yourself and just start the week by saying three things you love about yourself. Then on Tuesday, we have Gratitude Tuesday, so you focus on gratitude. You can list three things you appreciate about your life or more. Um, and then Wednesday is Nourishing Wednesday. I know a lot of people struggle with food, uh, as I did myself, so you mm -hmm. are just gonna focus on nourishing your soul or your body, whatever it is. And on Thursday is Mindful Movement Thursday, so you are going to do something that you enjoy doing with your body. Uh, on Friday is Feel Good Friday. Do something that brings you pure joy, whether it's watching your favorite movie or just doing your hobby, uh, whatever it is. Then on Saturday, we have Self-Discovery Saturday, where you're going to uh, engage in an activity that's gonna make you grow, um, like whether it's learning a language or like a new hobby or reading a book. And then on Sunday, we have Reset Sunday, which is very important, so you can like wind down and like reset everything. That is it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I heard that and I was like, I have to share that on YouTube. Like that is the nicest week ever. So this is what we're doing throughout the week from now on. Show ourselves some love. Yeah, Guys, you would actually think we're that. pregnant so with um, the variation of snacks that we have. Like these don't make any sense. And we've just ordered Taco Bell, so. Girl dinner. <laughs> Literally girl, girl dinner. dinner. May is trying mango, tahini, and lime. What's it given? Oh, you don't, I don't like, like it? it? Really? Mm -hmm. Let me try. Yeah. <laughs> you like it or no? Oh, you love it? Yeah. I feel like I was expecting something else for some reason. I feel like with pineapple, I would love it. I feel like if the mango's not sweet enough, mm -hmm. if the mango was sweeter, it would be nicer. Mm -hmm. This is what we call balance. We've got kombucha and Taco Bell. Very nice and healthy. <laughs> uh, no, I thought it was turned and now I'm suddenly like, maybe not. Whoa. Yeah, you are. I've got a new camera. Do you like it? I was going to say, what's with all the tech? I know. Spec? Although I don't know how I'm going to take this into Coachella, but. Oh, I'm on my phone. Like, mine's just going to be a phone. Oh, call. yeah, true. Um, Guys, we've just got to the villa. It's insane. Let me show you our room first. Okay, I'm going to take my case through but this is mine and Rachel's room i'm so happy that we're sharing together because we can have the biggest catch-up ever although this bed is kind of small so we're gonna have to spoon um but white fox have left all of these little goodies for us they always leave these recovery kits and we always need them after a white fox trip because they like to party so i'm definitely going to be needing that look at this tequila bottle it's literally fully glitzed out got a little digi camera some glasses very funky hat and then apparently we're the only ones with a whole dressing room which of course i actually look scary i can't believe i'm getting a bat like this also this is one of the purchases that i made in supreme i got kind of cold on the bus so i put it on um but let me show you the villa the villa is incredible this is the setting for dinner how cute and then guys the chef oh my god anyway <laughs> look at how insane this house is i want to go look outside actually oh my goodness i feel like i'm on love island like there's even a little fire pit over here how nice this is one of them moments where it feels very 
surreal and very I need to take this in, I need to be in the present, I need to like, what can I smell right now? What can I touch? What can I taste? I always do that and whenever you need to feel present in the moment, think about all of your senses. What can you smell right now? What can you touch? What can you taste? What? I'm tired, sorry, I'm muffling. Very grateful to be reunited with this girlie. I'm on my period. Oh, okay. it's tequila. <laughs> the little hats. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to take that. Also a very fully stacked fridge, which we love to see. We're all literally disheveled having this gorgeous meal, but we're like half asleep at the table. Whitney, you good? Yeah, only one. So we so don't tired. eat the same thing because if we all eat one. Okay, so this is the menu. Yum. How's your it's appetizer? Actually so, it's, it's actually so good. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, maybe this was worth being awake for. That looks insane. Rach had steak and I tried some and it was very yummy. Mm. Good morning! Yay, what morning. day is it? It's day one, motherfuckers! It's Coachella day one. I need a coffee before anything else. Guys, look at this. This is incredible. Private chef and all. Wow. Oh wow, this looks amazing. So this is the stressful part because I don't actually have any outfits planned. So that's really good. I'm trying to think about what I want to wear today. I Everyone's wearing all white, which I was going to do and I do have a white outfit. So I'm going to wear this, but the hair that I want for this, I'm doing tomorrow because we're having our hair done tomorrow. So I'm going to save my white outfit but that means I need something else. So I'm thinking I might do jeans. I know this is really boring. And my, don't be expecting much from my Coachella outfits because I'm not a festival girl by any means. Okay, I've just finished my makeup and I really ate with this makeup. Love I never do. There's a full beat moment. Yes, Rach is still doing her. Well, actually, Rach went to go and get some tickets for an event we're going to tomorrow. You know we're going to an event before Coachella? Right now? Yeah, the sun's too small. I just have no idea what's now going Now this is the day party. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna, I don't even know what I'm trying to, oh yeah, my makeup. How it nice, ate. it ate. I wanted to do more with my makeup today because my outfit is very basic. I've also had two sprinters. Then let me show you what they look like. I didn't really like them, I don't. Can you give me a passion fruit to give us out for these? Absolutely, my love. And look at this stocked fridge. Yeah. I love a fridge that is just stocked with drinks. What did Rach want? Rach wanted a passion fruit seltzer. I think I might try one of these as well. I've already had two of these, so I think I might try the tequila mango. Here you go, my love. Top, bottom. bottom. Got it. I'm wearing a full white fox, and then I've just got on my Miu Miu hat. Um, what else do I have on? I've got lots of silver jewelry on. I've got my Paco Rabanne bag on. And yeah, this is my day one outfit. I feel like my other ones are a little bit more festival-y. We're gonna assess the vibes today and go comfortable and I feel like this is a very me outfit. Also, I'm gonna switch to my phone now because I am not taking this big ass camera into Coachella, especially with this bag. I was also gonna bring some sunglasses, but I'm too scared to lose them, so. Can you put your setting spray on? Oh, I've not put my setting spray on. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Um, oh, that zoomed. Oh, this makeup really is giving though. Guys, LA. it's all going down. About to take my first shot of the trip. Oh, wait. We're like double vlogging. Cheers! Wow. wow! Look at oh this cowgirl. We're on our way. I'm it's on me. It's on me. That was oh. terrible. <laughs> it's all good. Exactly, thank you. I think some of the girls are going home. They peak too early, whereas me, 
I've been I've been drinking water. I've been pacing myself. So we're gonna head to Coachella now. I'm very excited. Oh, I'm so starstruck. I've met so many TikTokers that I watch, and I don't usually get starstruck. But I was starstruck. Back on the bus. I know. We're finally here. I got a Coke Zero. I've just bought Rach a double tequila pineapple, and it was thirty nine dollars. How's your drink, girly? Good morning guys, it's day two of Coachella. I didn't film getting ready today because I basically filmed it on TikTok. This is my outfit. I've gone with a very different vibe today. I feel like I look more Coachella vibes today. Um, this is my outfit. So obviously the dress is White Fox. My shoes are Chanel. I'm also borrowing Rach's Fendi bag because I've got mixed metals on today, which I thought was quite cute. Also, Lola Bells came and did my hair this morning, which was very nice. So yeah, I'm excited for day two. I think we're gonna go see I Spice today and we've not got any day parties, so we won't peak too early. Me and Rach said we'll, we'll drink, but not as much as yesterday because I think yesterday we just went too crazy and got way too excited. I think we're gonna slow down today and actually enjoy the festival a little bit more because I didn't really get many pictures at Coachella so I want to do that today also what is it okay let's just talk about this really quickly what is it hello I was literally just about to start moaning and you can't moan around me like you literally can't moan where around are you me. gonna say anything I was, negative I was gonna say so I posted that Instagram before yeah the amount of fashion critics that are on Instagram people were like this is very disappointing from Mads this isn't about a festival what? look because I was in jeans and a tank top and I was like I thought music festivals so were that about the music fitting according to who yeah exactly to who? who made that up thank you I feel like it's just sad people just like yeah, it's just no, it's See, not the vibe. Listen to no. me. Yeah, not the vibe not at the all. Vibes. You look You're gorgeous. The vibes. You looked so I gorgeous. Love I love the hat and your makeup. You know what? You were the vibe. You were Even the if vibe. you went without clothes. Aww, well, I yeah. Love you, <laughs> I love this girl so much. You know what? I actually love this house of girls. I feel like we're all so uplifting to each yeah. other. Like, as soon as someone say, says something negative, no. we're like, you're not about to stop start. it. No. We're excited for day two. I'm so your outfit is so oh. pretty. Did you show them? Yes, I show. Like, look at it. Look, look at the detail in the hair. Look at the dress, the boots. It's giving everything. I feel everything. more girly today. I yeah. feel like a. You should do like a video like, a, like two mm. types of people. You know, yeah. she can do <laughs> my both. My two personalities. Although <laughs> I'm showing my third personality tomorrow because I'm putting my Monica wig on. I can't wait to see that. I can't obviously. wait to show you. Our party bus is here, Mr. TJ. Hi. Cheers, sister girl. Cheers. Wait, let me let me see your outfit. Oh my gosh. So stunning. Also, how funny, me and Rachel swapped bags today. So I was wearing this, this yesterday. Look at my essentials. Hello. The essentials. Your makeup wipe, a tampon, my, what's that called, dongle? Dongle. A gloss. And I've got the important stuff in here. I've got the camera, IDs. Because this is more secure. This one doesn't lock. Not so much. So not so much. It's good for the aesthetics. Yeah. Maybe let's put the tampon in there as well. Maybe. But yeah, how cute is this little Fendi of Rachel's? It was so perfect as well because it's mixed metal like gold and silver and I'm wearing gold and silver. It's great. Coachella day two. We're back on the phone again. This is everyone walking in. It's busy today. I feel like it's busier today than yesterday. Look how pretty you are girl. Oh. How happy are you to be here Rachel? We. Oui. And then it's actually daylight because when we made it in yesterday it was literally already gone dark so we can see what's what now and we didn't actually leave VIP yesterday but we're in like the main bit now. Rachel's currently on a mission to find Ray. She's very determined. <laughs> so cranky because I've not eaten but now I'm eating tacos How's your taco? It's from there It's from over there They're very 
delicious. Actually, they're not, they're fine, but I'm just so hungry that I would eat anything right now. Now I've had something savory, I'm craving something yeah. sweet. Let's go get a hoodie and then let's go get ice cream. Oh, it's probably so cozy. So cozy. Let's go get some hoodies because we're cold. But we're not seeing the one we want. We want this brown one. If I see it, I'll show you. Um, but I think I might get this. Let me see if I can see it. It's like a cream one. Oh, it's over there. Oh, this one. I want this cream one. Oh, you look so cozy. That looks so cute. We got a hoodie. Yay. Love it? I love it so much. I just wanted a dress. That's it. Yeah, me too. We're heading to Ice Spice Bridge. Thank you, the shit, bitch. You're not even the fart. <laughs> So I've got a chocolate in my hands <laughs> with the girlies and we've got the whole bus to ourselves because everyone's going at different times today. We're all kind of doing our own thing. Oh, beautiful. I'm probably not going to vlog too much today because I want to actually enjoy Coachella. I like easy but I'm never in. Even though the time's alright, I like to get my in never in. This is how you know a lot went down yesterday. <laughs> Currently having an IV drip. Um, yeah, I need to feel better. <laughs> 